Hi everyone, in this problem we're going to give a rough sketch of this function. This is the absolute value of x plus 3. So to do this problem we're going to use uh, some translations. So the key is to know what the absolute value function looks like. So the absolute value of x looks like a v. Again, we're just going to give a rough sketch here. So I'm just going to draw a little v just like that. So there's the absolute value of x. It looks like a v. So I'll call it y equal to the absolute value of x. All right. If you wanted to plot some points, you could uh, from 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 the middle here, from this from the where it starts, the peak, I guess. Uh, you go right one and up one, put a dot. Left one up one, put a dot. So you could have uh, some points on the graph if if you wanted to. And now we're going to add three to it. So what that does is it takes this entire graph and it goes up three. So let's carefully uh, draw it over here. So we have the y-axis, we have the x-axis here, so this is our x, this is our y, and we're starting here at this point here, and we're going up one, so that goes up one, and then you just draw the v. Now if you want it to be uh, perfect, um, oh we go up three, sorry, so three, and go up three, and then you start it here. Now if you want it to be perfect, you would see that from where it starts, it's right one up one. So you can go right one, up one, put a dot, left one, up one, put a dot, and then draw your V just like that. So if you wanted some points, you could you, you could do that. Just know that it's always right one, up one, left one, up one from where uh, the V starts. And that would be the final answer. I hope this video has been helpful.